Lekhna. Welcome to Health Cube videos. Today, I'm going to talk about three very important structures of our body. These are arteries, veins and nerves. So let me show you what's the difference between them. So what's an artery? Artery is a tube or pipe-like structure that starts from heart and reaches out to various parts of the body, carrying blood which is rich in oxygen and nutrients. As artery moves towards the periphery, it branches out into small pipes which is also called as capillaries, which are thinner than main arteries and ex exchanges nutrients to various organs and body parts. The walls of arteries are thick as it has to sustain the pressure of blood that flows from the heart. Veins, on the other hand, are blood vessels that collect the oxygenated blood from the body and brings it back to the heart. The walls of the veins are thinner as compared to arteries, but it has got a structure called as valve that is present throughout the veins which prevents backflow of the blood. On contrary, nerves are part of central nervous system which are wire-like structures that carries information to and from body parts to brain and spinal cord. It is made up of combination of multiple nerve cells which are also called as neurons. Arteries are usually not visible superficially, but it can be felt by applying firm pressure. The commonest example of feeling an artery is when you check your pulse. Usually it is used for measuring our heart rate. Veins are present superficially as well as deep. Hence, it's very easily seen on your skin surface. Usually they are looking as a bluish tube-like structure. But when you touch them, you won't feel any pulsating kind of sensation. Nerve can't be seen or can't be felt superficially, but it can be triggered. For example, when you pinch yourself, the nerve gets triggered and sends a message of pain to your brain. So, why do knowing these terms matters? Because it's about being health literate. It's about being able to understand difficult and commonly used medical terms and issues. Once you are able to understand these terms, you can take better healthcare choices. Even highly educated people can have trouble understanding these medical information. Do remember, poor health literacy can literally harm your health. So better work on it.